Welcome to the Metal Roofing Learning Channel's Standing Steam Series. We've teamed up with the experts at Revamp Roofing to bring you everything you need to know to install Standing Seam. We will be releasing a new Standing Seam installation video weekly. Check out our Standing Seam installation series playlist. Link in the description or subscribe so you don't miss out on our next video. Ridge cap installation is normally the last piece once your gable trim has been installed. For a detailed guide on installing gable trim, click the link above. In this video, we'll walk you through layout, installing Z closures, preparing ridge cap at gable ends, overlapping ridge cap, and fastening ridge cap. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Yeah. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Click the link above for your free quote today. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. For this installation, these are the parts that are required. This installation is for a fixed ridge cap installation with no venting. Generally, you will have a one to two inch gap at the top of the ridge to accommodate for any sawtoothing or squaring issues of the roof. Layout. Prior to installing your ridge cap, it's best to plan the layout. Ridge caps generally come in 10 foot runs. If your ridge line is 32 feet long, you'll end up with a small two foot piece of trim. It's best to start with one six foot piece, then two standard 10 foot runs, and you'll end with a six foot piece. When planning your layout, remember to account for six inches needed at overlaps and one inch needed at gable ends. Before installing your trim, you'll need to lay out guidelines. Start by running a string line along the center point of your ridge line. Next, you'll want to snap a chalk line on where your Z flashing will begin. In our example, our ridge cap is seven by seven inches. This guideline is used to show where your Z closure's edge will land. Installing Z closures. Z closures are used to secure your ridge cap Start by placing a strip of double-sided beetle tape on the lower section of the Z-closure. Z-closures should be installed with the color side facing downwards as the lower side of the trim will be visible. Z-flashing should be cut half an inch less than the width of the standing seam panels. Line up the Z-closure with your chalk line. Z-closure flashing will be placed three quarters of an inch back from the edge of the ridge cap. Fasten the Z-closure with four pancake screws. The quantity of screws should be adjusted per panel size. Please consult with a professional engineer for your exact design load and screw spacing attachment patterns. Continue this process on both sides of the ridgeline. A strip of double-sided butyl tape should be placed along the top section of the Z-closures. Non-curing butyl sealant should be placed along the edges of the Z-closures. Preparing ridge cap at gable ends. Start by making a mark one inch from the ridge cap edge. Next, cut at the center of the ridge cap to your one inch mark. Notch out the hems on both sides of the ridge cap up to the one inch mark. Next, fold both tabs downwards 90 degrees. Draw a straight line on the center of the top tab. Cut the tab along your line. Overlapping ridge cap. Over 
overlaps of ridge cap should be a minimum of 6 inches. Start by notching out the hems on both sides of your ridge cap, trim up to the 6 inch mark. Two rows of silicone sealant should be placed 3 inches from the edge, between the two overlapping panels. When installing a ridge cap, you want your overlaps to face away from the public view. This will give the appearance of one seamless stretch of trim. Fastening Always remove protective film from trim prior to installation. Silicone sealant should be applied to the inner edge of the ridge cap. Start at the gable side of your roof. Begin lining up your ridge cap onto the Z flashing. Pop rivets should be placed on each side of the ridge cap and at gable ends. Continue to overlap the ridge cap. Do not forget to put silicone sealant at the overlaps 3 inches from the edge. Do not push or put too much force on the ridge cap after it has been lapped. Pop rivets should be placed 12 inches on center fastening the ridge cap to the Z-closures along both sides. Six pop rivets should be placed at all overlaps at the following locations. Looking for more standing seam installation videos? Be sure to like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly. Want to learn more about standing seam installation? Check out our standing seam playlist or watch how to install gable trim.